Okay, <laughs> that's not why my name is Queenie. How old am I? I am... Today I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit more about me and who I am just for y'all to get to know me a little bit. So I'm just going to be answering a few questions. If you see me looking down, I have like questions on my laptop that I'm looking at because they were, they were on my phone but I'm using my phone to record so I had to have them somewhere else. So they're just on my lap, on my laptop. So if you see me looking down, that's why. But yeah. Let's get started. Um, that's like my hair. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so first question is, um, how old we know? Let's actually start with like introduction, Loki. First question. Oh, my name is my name is Queenie. <laughs> um, my mom named me Queenie because one of my um other brothers. His name starts with King, so my mom was like, if I'm gonna have a king, I'm gonna have a queen too. So yeah, that's how my name came about. And some people think I'm named Queenie because my mom, like, sh she had me in Queens, but that that's not why my name's Queenie. It was just a coincidence. <laughs> but anyways, um, where am I from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I've lived in New York all my life. Lived in Brooklyn all my life. Um, my family though is from Haiti. So that's my ethnicity. I'm Haitian, so Haitian American. Womp womp. <laughs> um, do I have any siblings? Um, I have like, I have a lot actually. I have a lot. I have like a good amount. Of I actually have a good amount of siblings. I have like um seven. Yeah. <laughs> I have seven siblings, but they're not all from my mom. They're um some of my sisters are from my dad's side and then my brother, two of my brothers and me and my one of my other sisters are both well not both. Um, <laughs> it's just all of us are from my mother's side so together it's seven of us but my older sisters are like way older than me they have like children they're married um yeah so it's kind of weird because i'm my aunt to people who are older than me like my niece not my nieces my nephews are like most of them are older than me except for one that's like a baby it's like five Besides that, they're all older than me. And besides my niece too. She's like one year younger than me. And that brings me to the next question. <laughs> How old am I? I am... I am 16. I'm 16, yeah. I'm 16. Um, I'm in the 11th grade. I am a junior. It feels weird to be a junior, honestly, because it feels like I was just in eighth grade, like, yesterday. It it, it, it feels surreal, because it's really crazy. I'm about to graduate really soon. Really, 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 really soon. That's that's crazy. Uh, I'm going to be an adult soon. Um, I don't know about all that, but I'm really about to be an adult soon. That's so crazy. I'm, like, too... I'm like two years away from being an adult. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is mad crazy. Oh, um, wow. Um, that's an adult, 18 years old. <laughs> that's really crazy. Um, I feel like once I'm technically an adult, I'm going to feel, I'm going to still feel like I'm a child because I'm not gonna be used to it until I'm like maybe I'm like in my twenties, like my late twenties. I'm gonna still feel like a whole child to the extent like 
if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, uh, next question. Um, my favorite shows. Well, I have a lot of favorite shows, honestly. But my like top, top, top overall favorite show has to be The Vampire Diaries. Like that show is bomb. It is bomb. It is so good. Like, if you've never watched that video before, video, if you've never watched that show before, you should definitely invest your time into watching that show. It's just so good. It's so interesting with the twists and turns. And I recently rewatched it. Um, and I just finished watching it. It took me like about a month to finish watching it. I was literally watching episodes like every single day. And it's eight seasons, but it's so good. It's worth it, in my opinion. Take it from me. I think it's really worth it. So watching it is, mm -hmm, yeah. Get into that. And then, what I love about the the uh, Vampire Diaries is that after the Vampire Diaries comes the originals. After the originals comes Legacies, as in like the originals is a show and Legacies is a show. And Legacies is actually running right now, so they're on their third season, but it hasn't come out yet. That's also one of my favorite shows. That show is mad good too. It's just, I just, ugh, I just love all those shows. And I'm recently about to start rewatching the originals because I was like, why not? Because I already re watched the Vampire Diaries. I might as well just go down the line again and watch all the shows over again. They're just that good, in my opinion. They're they're mad good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. Next question. Um, do I have any hobbies? I do. Um, my top hobby, which I hope can turn into a career one day, is singing. I love to sing. Yeah. <laughs> I love to sing. Um, maybe one day I might post a cover of me singing. I haven't really, like, um, posted covers and stuff like that yet, but I will do that in the future soon. Stay tuned for that. I might do that on this channel. You know, I might. <laughs> um, another hobby I have is I like to um, just edit photos. Like, you know those, like, aesthetically pleasing pictures? Um, I like to make wallpapers. I like to, like, just edit, like, all of my photos. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I will have to, like, put a picture up like somewhere over here so y'all could like understand what I'm talking about so y'all not just confused but like if I put a photo right here it'll be right here right here yeah <laughs> it'll be right there but yeah I just like editing pictures you know making them look a little bit more cuter than what they actually are so because some of my photos just seem bland to me without like you know some type of editing you know some sparkle here some hearts you know the macbook hearts things yeah those are so cute to put on like pictures i really love those yeah and and i actually have an instagram page but i also put up here you know a little promo but i have an instagram page for my editing for my editing so if you want me to make an edit for you you know just let me know just shoot me a dm and i'll definitely make you one but i do like charge for them so yeah but it's really fun like i don't mind making them a lot of them it's just really fun to do in my opinion it can be a little bit time consuming but it's worth it for the like outcome it's definitely worth it um, another hobby I would say I have, I guess will be doing my hair, low-key, because, um, I just like trying different, like, hairstyles, watching, you know, YouTube videos of natural, people with natural hair, just seeing, like, different hairstyles I could do for myself, and I actually taught myself how to do, um, box braids from watching YouTube videos, and I'm trying to do... I'm trying to do those um, butterfly locks soon, so stay tuned for that. I might post a video of me doing those locks while I'm doing them. So I might do a video on that. But one day, one day, one day, one day, I think I could see myself making a little business 
of doing other people's hair i just need to practice a little bit more a little bit more because for some reason doing my hair like on my own like on my own head it's way easier for me than doing it on other people's heads i don't know why for some people it's like the other way around but for me it's like that i don't know why but doing other people's hair is way harder like when it comes to gripping and stuff it's way harder for me but like i could part people's hair well I could do that really well but like gripping like when it comes to box braids mm, I need to work on that but soon I hope I could start like a little business like to make some money like a little bit of a profit over doing other people's hair and when I was younger I used to actually want to um own a beauty salon when I was younger because my aunt owns a beauty salon so I was like you know I, I want to see if I could own one. So yeah, you never know. I don't know if that could become something in the future. You know, I don't know. We're just gonna let it be in existence, in speaking into existence, and just see what happens if I own a beauty salon. That'd be really cool though. That'd be really really cool. I could see myself doing that honestly, because I want to own some type of business when I'm older. And that brings me to another question my dream job it would really be to like either own a business or become successful being a singer like an r&b singer that's no being an r&b singer that's my real dream job because i just love r&b music um it's just it's just a different type of vibe when i listen to r&b music r&b music has a special place a special 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 place in my heart it really does um yeah <laughs> um if you hear me like sniffling uh, sniffling a lot in this video <laughs> like i just did right now it's because i'm actually kind of sick I, I had this cold for like i don't know i think two weeks yeah I've had my cold for two weeks i don't know why but when it's always like from when we're transitioning from summer to fall in new york i always get a cold at some point like because you know how you be having those snapchat stories if you have snapchat you know what i'm talking about but like when you get those flashback memory things when it's like a year from a like a snap that you posted there was this snap memory that came up like I think like two days ago around that time and it was like it was me posting about me being sick around that time a year ago which is really crazy because I'm literally sick around the same time I was sick last year that's that's kind of weird that's mad weird to me I don't know why my immune system works like that but I'm really prone to catching colds it's really bad my colds would be so horrible it'd be so horrible i've been having them for my long as you can tell because i'm still sick right now i had this cold for like two weeks and that's why i didn't post a video last week because i was sick and i didn't have the energy to make a video and edit and post it it was just up too much i was just really tired and sick but anyways i'm back to the topic of the video let's see Oh, a random fact. You know, my, my <laughs> a random fact. My favorite color is purple. I love purple. I love purple with a passion. I I love that color. It's just so beautiful, especially um like pastel purple, like lavender. I love purple. Like it's so cute. I purple has been my favorite color since like forever <laughs> like for real my favorite song at the moment um i would say i don't even know i have too many like songs to choose from for me to be saying i have a favorite song like because i have a whole playlist of just all of my favorite songs when i find them i just put them all into one playlist and i listen to them all together yeah so I, I can't say I have one favorite song at the moment, to be honest. There's too much for me to choose from, but I would say right now, one of my favorite songs, um, 
I could say it's the world we created by Giveon. That song is really fire. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little facts I gave y'all about myself. Um, if y'all would like to keep up with me, you know, learn a little bit more about me and who I am, you know, you can keep up with me on social media accounts, which are all in the description box below, you know. Follow me on Snapchat, on TikTok, and on Instagram. Um, so, thanks for watching remember to like comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video bye